Hi everyone, it's time to put my deadbolt in my door. Alright, what I've been doing when I go down the road right now is either I have bungee cord down here or I have to hook up this eye hook to something in there to keep the door from opening and uh, closing or bouncing when going down the road. Getting a little bit uh, tired of doing that, it's no big deal, however. My next step is to install this deadbolt system into the door. So I have the Defiant single cylinder deadbolt, or sorry, dead latch lock. This template that came with, I need to cut this template out. It tells me what I need for tools, a pair of pliers, hole saw, and a drill. And uh, even with the, uh, the bits that I will need, I have some instructions here on how to line everything up. So the next step will be installing this and getting this uh, ready to go so that I won't have to uh, use the bungee cord setup on that any longer. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, not done yet, but let's do another little update right here. I have uh, the keyhole unit installed. Now, this door has an outer layer of stuff, and unfortunately I went a little higher than uh, I wanted to, so I had to trim off uh, this corner. It's alright. Perfectly happy with it. The door didn't cost me anything, and I could have done a better job. I'll uh, have to fix this at a later date. Uh, this ring is keeping this from going too far in. And this is the unit which is holding the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the two uh, screws in here. And that will keep uh, this in place. So I'm going to do that. All right, we'll finish that up. And then I'll uh, go on to the next step for you and give you a little update. This is where I'm going to be placing this piece which... The door locks into now what i need to do is you see there's a little bit of a shim piece or a raising but whatever you want to call them behind there and the reason for that is that i had to put more than i anticipated on the door of weather stripping to seal the door the door sticks out from this wall a little bit i'm going to do a couple of things one of the things my brother suggested in addition was to put glue on this piece to reinforce it uh, which is a good idea because the screw might go partly between this, these two pieces of wood, might not. I'm going to wait and see. Uh, but I have little screws and some wood screw I'm going to put on that and then uh, put this all in place. Alright, I'm getting ready to put the last screw in to hold this. Then I'm going to do a, a test on opening and closing the door from the outside. Uh, and I'll need to put a handle on it. I'll show you why shortly. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to go slow because I don't want to split the wood. I have already pre-drilled the hole based on what the directions were giving me. Alright, so that's set there. That's not going anywhere. All right, I'm gonna go on the outside of the door here. Let's do this. I'll have my keys out ready to go. All right, that actually works very good. The door's own weight will close it. I can lock this from the inside so nobody could unlock it. And when I wanna leave, I do this. So I really don't need these um, at this point, I can remove those. Uh, I had to put the handle like this because this way here, it was so close 
to the edge of the uh, door frame uh, that if I'm not careful, someone's not careful, you're going to catch your fingers and it's going to hurt a lot. Uh, the reason I did this L-shaped piece is that this um, was a door being repurposed from an old Winnebago. I had to remove the latch system, so there's a bunch of holes here that I had to cover. And now this is not too bad. It looks nice. Uh, now, if I want to not have to uh, unlock and lock the door every time I go out, if I'm nearby, I can put this up and the door will stay closed. I'll, I'm going to figure out something that will keep tension on the door when it's closed so the cats don't get out when I'm not in here. Uh, so this worked out you know, much better than I uh, really expected it to. This is the unit uh, on the inside here. Just a regular lock bolt. And you can do this to keep it from locking if you're nearby. So I'll open it every time. Hope you like this video. Uh, nothing else you found. Nothing else you found it entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and as always, be sure to check the description below. I have links that I may not have mentioned uh, in the video itself.